Okay, item number four on the agenda is to discuss and possibly agree to an interlocal agreement with Glen Rock ISD for maintenance of the field. We appreciate you all coming. Bye bye. Um, Ron and I have talked with Mr. Rotan, and he has gotten permission. They really don't use that field anymore. And so um, we thought that might be something we we're interested in doing. We don't have we don't have the interlocal agreement ready yet. Probably next meeting it should be ready. But um, they would lease it to us for a dollar a year, I believe. Is that correct, Andy? Yes. Uh, I think I've got a copy of the agreement. Was it not in your packets? No. I don't remember seeing it. No, that wasn't in the agreement. Do you need a package money? Uh, oh, cool. Yeah, Ronald dropped this by Saturday. What's the length of the lease, Andy? Ten years. Ten years. But the form of the agreement looks fine. So by maintenance, they being basically we take over any any of the restroom problems that they have, any of the fence problems or anything like that, right. lighting, all that, all that. Is that workable? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, we, Ronald and I discussed it. I think we can handle that. Plus, we've got the new uh, mower we can handle that. So, so they could just rotate into the yes, sir. system. Do we need any type of truck or something to get the lighting on that? I don't know how tall the stanchions are. Ron and I talked about a new bucket truck for next budget. Yeah. We have a bucket truck, but it, it needs to be up there. And we could use the bucket truck to change some of the lights. Okay. So we might have a crossover until we can get get a truck or some of the lights went out. Yes, sir. Who else has a plus? Any county or the city? Or the they have a, uh, what, a track. Yeah. Okay. But we might be able to borrow that for now. For just yeah. to get from here. Sure. And doesn't the, is the county involved in any of that at all as far as for you know, the property or? The county did the first, they did the first bill, back bill, but then they told, from what I understand, they told the right. school they didn't want any part of it. Um, Lloyd, you might, you might know a little bit different. Is, it, is that correct? The county is out of it completely. It's all schools now. All schools. And the school doesn't really use those fields anymore because uh, they had their own fields. You know, at one time they were going to use them for softball and stuff, but and they, they provide those services, but really they don't, they just as soon get out of it. So if we ran a softball tournament there, the funds would come to the city. Right. Yeah. And it would still be open to the public. Just with coordination through, I guess, maybe this you were the superintendent? Sure. Yes. That's correct. And we had talked to them also about perhaps um, they also own the property adjoining it and um, perhaps using that property for parking. And we wouldn't want all of it, but maybe an acre or so for additional parking if needed. And I don't know if that's on there. That would be something we we'll talk about later. Yeah, it's not addressed in this agreement. But we do it the same way, just lease it. That's that same property that we use right now. Is that what you're talking about? No. Because um, there's some parking in the front and there's some parking on the side. And that, the one on the side looks like it's kind of almost separate from. Right. No, this is it's over. Um, there's a white house just kind of west of that. Okay. Right next to it. Yeah. And, and there's quite a few acres in there, but um, they use the house for. for um, store things there, you know, the school does. But if we needed it perhaps back behind it or something. You know, we don't we don't know for sure if we would need it. But mm -hmm. we just talk to them hopefully hopefully we we you know. And Bruce, this is this is a video under your department? Yes sir. Um, are you looking at any more employees or was this something you're part of this is something we discussed before mm -hmm. to have the employees that we have road down. Mm -hmm. We have like a mobile mm -hmm. that we have mm -hmm. take care
you know, we have to change the, the date, I guess, from on January 1st, 2010. Unless, because the list is, you know, whatever y'all are doing. Okay. Has anybody reviewed how the, what the conditions of the restrooms or anything? Or the, I think they've got a little concession stand there too, don't they? It might be something we need to do before we make a final agreement to see, you know, we don't have something if somebody's went there and broke all the toilets or something like that. Now, according to Mr. Rotan, everything was fine. Okay. You know, so he said everything was okay, but um, it's probably a good idea just to get you. Due diligence. Said we want to put this off until January, until the January meeting. I have no problem with it. I, you know, I've discussed it with Ron and stuff before. I think it would be a nice addition into the city to keep up and something we can use, promote things to be held here in the summertime. I know that softball, slow pitch, and those type of things are real big in this state. And it may again be something where we can bring some additional people into the town for during the summer for weekends. Is the indemnity and liability part is what we usually do? Is it? <coughs> I'm ready to load on it now. I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion that we, we enter into an interlocutory agreement with the school district for Beckham Park as outlined in the agreement. Second. I have a motion and a second to uh, agree to the interlocal agreement with the school district for Beckham Park. Second. 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 Second.